before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you guys so, so much for the support recently, and now let's get into the video. If you want to learn how to do this effect, make sure you watch until the end. Players. First things first, you want to open Vegas until you get to this screen. And then what you want to do is you want to right click where it says video track and audio track. You want to press video track and then you want to export your clip in. All right, now that I have my clip in, what you want to do is you want to press on your game thing and then you want to control U and then you want to press on your audio and then you want to right click until you see where it says delete right here. You want to press delete. Now you have to export your music in. All right, now that you have your music in, what you want to do is you're going to go to your clip and then you're just going to left click. You're going to hold a left click and you're just going to move it over to where you want to start up your clip. So let's just say I want to start my clip up right here or no, like maybe a little back right, right here. What you want to do is you're going to left click and no, you're going to hold a left click and you're going to bring it all the way back like this. All right, now that you have your clip where you want to start it and end it, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to your music and you're just going to go find where the first beat drop of the song is. All right, I found my beat drop of my song. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press on this little button at the bottom, the insert marker, or you could just press M on your keyboard, control M. And then you have that. What you want to do now is you're going to left click on the music and then you're gonna see where this option below it's like blue blue and red and you're gonna to want to press split now what you want to do is you want to go to your other side of the music like the, the left the left side and you want to um, press delete or you could just uh, right click and press delete and then you want to move your music over and then you want to find the B drop of your song all right, now that I found the um, where I, I got the kill, and where you want to do it is you want to like, uh, just like keyframe it, like right here, just go like side to side until like the 200 pops up or wherever your marker is. And then you want to bring the music over, and then you're gonna left click, you're gonna hold left click until you like see this little thing. And then you're just gonna want to slide it all the way to the left. Okay, now that you have your clip in sync, what you're going to want to do is you're going to see this little blue button on on your music and you're just going to press on this where it says gain and I it, it normally just depends like what your volume of your music is, but I normally do mine negative 3.8. Before we get into the effects part, I forgot to say this, but you're going to go to the very left of your clip, the very start of it, and you're going to see like this little, it's like a, uh, like a triangle-ish, it's like a quarter of a pie, I guess, and then you're going to say fade in effect, and then you want to bring it in for the clip, I would normally do it to five, and then for the music, you want to bring it in, here, I got to find it, just going to scroll in. And then you're gonna want to do your this one to like I guess like right here, whatever like the beat drop of the I'm mean, not really the beat drop but like when for one of the beats goes in. Okay, now let's get into the effects. Okay, if you want to do the effect I did where like it shaked before we got into the part where like the little beat drops right here, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna go to the beat drop, and then you're just going to like find it right here. You're just gonna press on it, press on it, left click, and you're gonna press skip, um, split, and then you're gonna go to where the like the thing ends, and then you're gonna left click again, split, and now do these for the same for all of them. Okay, now that you have all the parts, uh, um, split for like all of the like the, the big parts, like if you wanna do what I'm doing, you wanna left click on the clip and you're gonna to wanna to do it the exact same spots as you did as the music. Okay, now that you have it all split up, what you wanna do is you wanna to go to the, the parts where you really want it and then you're gonna press on this little FX button and I'm gonna link these presets in the description uh, to do what I did. 
So what you want to do is you're going to see this one called digital zoom in B. What you're going to do for this one is you're going to press add. And then you're going to want to press OK. And then just wait for it. And then you're going to do these for all of the ones that have the big beats. What you're going to do is you want to go to the very top, very top left, and you're going to see file. And it's going to see all of these, and you're going to want to press save. And when it press save, you're just going to press on your file name and just press, like, uh, do whatever you want to do. Type in whatever you want to do. I'm just going to put tutorial one. And you're just going to press save so everything like is saved and all your progress is saved. And then, okay, now that we have this preview part done, what you want to want to do is you're going to go into your part of your song where you hit the B drop, where you hit the B drop, and then um, you're just going to want to put a marker there, and then you're going to go 30 frames to the left. All right, now that I have 30 frames to the left, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put a marker on this clip too. And you're just gonna wanna split this part and split this part too. Okay, now that you have this part split, you're gonna wanna go over here to the left side. You're gonna right click, video track. You're gonna control U, control U. So it just copies that and you're gonna wanna press copy. And then you want to press Control U up. All right, now that you have this, you're gonna have this one up top. Make sure you use this one up top and not the bottom one because it's just gonna it's just gonna be black in the background. So do the top one and where it says right here, pan and crop. You're gonna want to press on this. Just go like two keyframes in, right here, and then you want to go and just like move this up. But move it up like right, uh, I guess, above like the inventory right here, as you see. And then you go to the end part, two keyframes before the end, and you just bring it all the way back. Just come try to get as perfect as you can. And now that you have this and like the picture is inside the picture, that doesn't look good. So what we want to do is you're going to go to video effects, and then you're just going to want to type in you and I dot echo. And you have this right here. You just want to move this to the top one, and it's just going to create this effect, which is really cool. So then now after that is you want to type in hue. This is so that you can change the colors of it. Uh, if you do not want to do this, you can't. You don't have to, but if you want to make it switch colors, you have to do this. So you um, get on the hue, and then you bring it to the top as well. What you do is you go to hue shift, keyframe it, animate, and then what you want to do is you go into the very end, and then just move it to 1.0. Now you have it all switching colors. Okay, now that you have this, if you want to add in a shake effect like what I did, you want to type in shake, type in shake, and you're just going to want to move the shake one to the exact same one, and then you're going to uh, go to the shake. And then you're just going to change the amplitude to 0 0.5. Make sure you're copying my settings. And there you go. Now you have a shake effect. Okay, now that you have the effect part, you're just going to want to go to where the shotgun hits, the other side, and you just want to press on effects. I'll be linking these down in the description. You want to press on the best glow effect. You want to press add and OK. And then you got this. And now you have effects to the L part. And for the to type of clips like these, you want to put in a, vo a velocity for them. But this is already slow-mo because it's in the Victor Royale section. So, yeah. All right, also, I forgot to mention, if you want to add in the effect to the sound audio, all you have to do is you want to go right before the, the pump hit, and you just want to split it, and then you just want to go like a, a couple keyframes, like, I guess like two keyframes before the effect happens right here, and you just want to press split as well. 
and then you got this you want to run to press effects and you want to go to here and you want to find where it says i'm pretty sure it's re re result filter this one right here and you want to press add okay and then you want to press on this thing and then it's going to say muffer you want to press on that one and now you got like a cool sound effect okay now that we're done with the clip what you're going to want to do is you're going to see this thing at the very top it's like a it's the settings bar you want to press on this and you just want to copy my settings okay and then you're going to want to press file and you're just going to want to press render as and you want to go to your uh you want to go to your render settings and you, you guys can copy mine make sure you're doing magics avc slash aac mp4 make sure you do a mp4 all right now you want to um i'm going to show you guys my settings just copy my settings Okay, now that you have your render settings and everything's working, you just want to press render and just wait for it to happen. Alright, that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I made for you guys. This is the first tutorial I've ever made. Um, put it in the description if you guys think I did good with like what I was saying. And I hope you guys enjoyed this wonderful effect that was in the, mon that was in the clip montage on TikTok. And I'll see you guys later, and peace out.